As you are looking for the right sensor for your project, you have two options. Option 1. We'll help you choose your sensor. You work with our technical support team to select the right sensor based on our experience working with different use cases. Option 2. You can review our sensor catalog and data sheets. If you're very knowledgeable in our product type and product lines, you can use our sensor catalog to filter down to your ideal sensor component. Here's what you'll need to know. The environment your sensor will be in. Our sensor environments are categorized as exposed, which is weather resistant, and protected, which is commonly used indoors in protected areas. What type of chemical resistance you'll need and how to identify if you'll need it or not. Our F option and P option are add-ons we suggest you use for added protection on the sensors. We've created a chemical compatibility chart which shows commonly used chemicals and environments and their compatibility with our sensors. There you'll find the chemicals our standard sensors are compatible with and which sensors require or are compatible with our F option and P options. Is it necessary for you to have the cable attached? For simple integration of our sensors in the end user applications, Maxbotics has developed a shielded cable attached to create a completely IP67 rated Maxonar WR sensor. The wire attach option uses a Maxonar MB7954 shielded cable with a sensor cap to fully protect the pinout of the Maxonar sensor. It also includes three feet of wire. We're also able to customize your shielded cable length to suit your application needs. What is the resolution and how do you choose it? The resolution of a sensor indicates the smallest measurement or change in measurement that the sensor can report. We provide 1 inch, 1 centimeter, and 1 millimeter resolution. What are your minimum and maximum range requirements? How close or how far does your sensor need to measure? Some of our sensors measure as close as 6 inches and as far as 16.5 meters in our cargo detection sensor. Which output is needed? The majority of our sensors simultaneously offer three unique range outputs. The sensor's data sheet will outline all outputs for your specific sensor. The standard outputs used by our sensors are pulse width, serial data, either RS-232 style or TTL style, analog voltage, I2C, and analog envelope. What is the housing style needed for your project? Our protected sensors are in an easy packaging style. These are not intended for outdoor use. We also have various housings for our weather resistant sensors, which we'll cover in another video. What type of filtering will you likely need? We'll cover what the most likely filter is and how it can help you, and what the ideal environment is for the self-cleaning sensor, and also how the stability filter works. Does your project need a sensor that compensates for temperature? We'll walk you through the ideal use for temperature compensation and which sensors offer this feature. How many sensors are you using in your project? More than one? We've designed many sensors to be used in multi-sensor environments. We'll walk you through which sensors those are and documentation that will help you get started. But what is your ideal beam angle? We recommend that you use a beam angle that best fits your application's detection area. This video series is to help guide you through the process of understanding the sensor selection filter to help you narrow down to the sensor component that can best work for your project. We still suggest you speak with one of our technical support specialists to assist you with the process.